Alrighty-o guys, this is um, pretty interesting. I'm here today by myself at Hamilton Island Golf Club. Um, as you can see back there, there's a big hill. And then a little bit down the bottom of that is the first hole. So I'll just quickly run you through a few things. Um, it costs 160 bucks here uh, to play 18 holes. Peter Thompson design and an awesome course guide as well. So um, that is mint. I'm just playing by myself. I think we're going to need to get the other boys up here, or at least another three others. At least, at least Richo, because there's a couple of seats here that I've seen on the way in that are mint. So Richo loves a good seat. I'll put some photos up somewhere, whether it be Instagram or over this. I'm not too sure. But let's get into the round, because I'm a little bit on the nervy side of things. It's quite, well, I don't want to say overly tight, because down there, uh, there's a lot of room. But for the first shot of the day with no warm-up, it, it could be really, really interesting. With a three-wood, because I'm trying to play good golf. Don't know why. Um, I'm going to hit a three-wood. It's from the back tees, we're at 369. And the reason I'm going three-wood is because there's a bunker out there at uh, 227 to cover. And I think we're a little bit downwind. Wind's sort of heading a little bit towards the left. Just a small amount. But this first hole here... Um, it doesn't have a name, but I'm playing off the hoop pine tees. There's also the pandanus tees and the grass tree tees. Not an overly long golf, like uh, uh, overly long golf course. 370. This hole is next hole's 380. So it's not short, but certainly it's not overly long. There is uh, lots of gunge, just scrub everywhere. So you start missing and you're in a bit of strife. But uh, 227 to cover the bunker. 217 to it. It looks like that's sort of the widest part of the fairway. Uh, with about 130 metres left in. So, um, Richard's not here, but I'm going to rip in by myself. Hopefully, I can play good golf and not lose too many golf balls. I have bought three dozen. So, I'm going to walk straight up to that thing and try to hit it. I don't even know if I've got it in, 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 in shot. Do I have a shot in shot? Yeah, it's over there. Right. Wish me luck. Welcome, Rosie Golf Review. If you haven't uh, watched our channel before, yeah. smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. What do you do with that bell? And you can do something else so you'll receive all our current videos. Is that that bell? Oh, the bell thing, that's, that's right. down there after you subscribe. Uh, just, I should watch more stuff. Come to Hamilton Island Golf Club. It's going to be mint. Straight over that way is, is uh, Hamilton Island itself. Um, I'll show you around as we start getting around because the wind's starting to get up and I'm starting to get a bit worried. So let's get this first tee shot out of the way, I suppose. I generally hit this thing a little bit left. Uh, it does seem that there's a little bit more room, if anything, to the left. So I'm going to try to start at the bunkers on the right and let it hit the hill on the left. Hopefully have 140 or 130 in, something along those lines. I reckon that would be sweet. So I've got flight scope up here. I've got shot tracer up here. I've got everything that you would normally see on a solo vlog. It's moving to the left. That's exactly what I wanted. What am I so nervous about? So I'll zoom in and I'll show you what I meant by it opens up a little bit more on the, uh, the left of the hole. I've hit that little toey. I don't know if we'll be able to see that, so. Somewhere down there, but you can see it all banks down to the right, so quite open there. I think I'm just down in that little gully and um, yeah, hopefully 130, 140 in, and we can go from there. But this is the uh, hoop pine tee, so the very back tees. Let's rip in. Whichever way that is, up or down, I think we go that way. This is going to be magic. Rightio, hopefully that camera is sort of somewhat stable. Here I am. Um, again, don't know how the distance is yet, but 130-ish. 164 to the back. Back, back, back. 135 flag, playing 141, <clears throat> 135 down breeze, probably could hit a 9 on, I'm, I'm going to think, even though it is a little bit uphill, it is a little bit down breeze, so I'm going to go a 9 on, it's, um, there's, there's been a bit of water up here, course is quite green, <clears throat> certainly, flight scope's going, everything's all good, so... Yeah, a little tiny bit down breeze. Nothing overly hard, I don't think. 
I'll tell you what, it was nice to get rid of that first uh, tee shot. Well, just left of it. Uh, just on the edge of the green. Tugged it a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. That'll be maybe a 30-foot putt to start. Uh, there is a putting green before you get on here. I probably should have had a putt. Right. So I've just caught the green. This looks like it is sloping a very long way. So for my first putt, I don't know what's going to go on here. I know it's going to be uh, plenty of movement. And it's sort of it's relatively busy as well, which is good to see. So they've got 10-minute uh, intervals between tee times, which is, uh, I suppose, to make the, the game maybe more relaxing. Right. So I've got this to break a foot and a half approximately hit it Oof. That, that's a, that broke a lot I got caught up in the uh, I don't know if we can see that I'll turn the camera around a little bit um, I don't know if anybody saw that but I got caught up in the fringe <coughs> I should have stopped but I think I was thinking quadruple bogey off the first. So anything better than that's going to be good. Great. So it, two, four, two times better. I thought for sure that I was going to make a, a, a massive, massive number off the first. So that's the first hole done. Um, very, very impressive. So you can sort of see it all the way back down there. You can see all the undulations and all the slopes. I'll just uh, set this down and so we can show everybody back there. But that's the T block up the hill and slopes. That's the back of the bunker. Slopes down the left as you play the hole. Great start. Right, so that was the, um, the first hole done. I like it. I've got Chief here, actually, which is probably the wrong golf club. Um, very much so. Uh, we've got 380 metres. I've just let old mate through. Uh, course guide again. So Peter Thompson designed this, and I reckon he would have had a pretty damn good time uh, making it. I will show you what it looks like over this side. In, in, no, nah, bugger it. I won't even, we'll talk about the hole in a sec. So this is what you've got to look at on the second hole so there we go that is very very pretty have a look at that so this again is the hoop pine tees so this is the back back tees and it goes all the way around there so um there's the airport but have a look at that. i'll zoom in just a little bit that's uh hamilton island itself there's a marina there's the sun, and that's the airport just there, or the, or the, or the, uh, the landing strip. There's the islands. Richard loves a good landing strip. And that's that there. And then we work our way around. There's the 18th hole just up the hill there. And this is the hole I'm on right here. So looking straight down there. Now, again, driver I think is a little risky. Um, I think I might just try to pat one down there because... Uh, um, it's only a 380 meter hole. It's only 380. I think I've got everything on. Got the cameras all going. Uh, that's all going. 380 meters. So I definitely don't need it. There's just a ridge there. So there's a ridge on the left hand side that I might try to get a little cut because uh, the wind will push it that way as well. The wind will push it a little bit to the right. Uh, but I'll be going for sort of the bunker down the right hand side. So on this hole, you've got a bunker. What have you got the course guide says? It doesn't say how far. So the bunker's are about 36 metres from the green. So say 40 metres from the green. So that's a, uh, it's a, big, it's a big hit to get down there. So if I sort of started at the flag, let it fall to the right, 
and uh, somewhere near the bunker on the right hand side. That's about where I think it needs to be, basically where the buggy is now. Hopefully you can see that down there. But uh, this should just be a little bit of a pat, maybe 240. Uh, well, two, well, as long as I can hit it up there, the better. But straight at that, um, straight at the buggy, basically. Straight at the uh, bunker down the uh, 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 right-hand side. Like that. That is absolutely perfect. That's a little draw into the breeze. Yeah, and that's just pushed it slightly to the right. And that's probably going to end up straight along with the bunker. I wish you could see that. Well, you'll see the ball flight in the, in the shot tracer, but I wish you could have seen that ball flight there. That was just an easy driver. I don't know what numbers I got there. Say it's gone 275, 165 ball speed. Uh, well, it was definitely hit good. Look, I'm not, as much as I want to play really good golf, as much as I want to play good golf, I just want to show off to you guys what is out there and what the course has to offer. Uh, because, again, bad day at golf is a better than a good day at work or something like that. So, that's very pretty. Right, so I'm just off camera, just uh, setting everything up. What have I got? I've got maybe a hundred odd. I'm just going to grab a 54. I'm not too sure. But I've got my Duva Majiggy here. So... 112 to the back back trees, 94 meters, 94. So certainly not a full 54. Pin uh, yellow, I think yellow's up the front. Sorry, is it up here? Um, on the back of the card, I thought it was said. Um, it'll definitely say somewhere, I think yellow's up the front, like that looks quite up the front. So yeah, I've got a 54, the wind is basically pushing straight sideways. It's pushing, uh, sort of into and pushing to the right. So somewhere at it, nothing, nothing too fancy. Um, just to get it on the green, <laughs> that's all I'm trying to do. Yeah, the wind's basically at my back right now, so pushing it to the right. Well, it's right at it anyway. Right at it, we're just a little left of it. We'll see where that one comes, nice and flat, probably spinning quite a lot. I reckon it's gonna be just short. I didn't really hit it very hard, but I reckon that's going to be pretty damn good. So it was an easy 54 uphill. Good. All right. So luckily I was completely wrong. The pin's way up the back. The pin is like four paces from the back edge. It's four or so from the back. Um, I'm still using this sick putter. This is the second round I've had with it. So hopefully it goes all right. Certainly it does feel really good. Everything's going to fall. I think it's going to sneak a little bit to the camera's right. I'll show you back down the fairway again. It's just perched up. It's not much of a hole, actually. It's just it's quite tight. Once you get over the hill, it's not overly tight, though. I mean, I, all I need to do is hit mine a couple of metres further uh, left as you play the hole, and it would have been in the gunge, actually. So I've got this breaking. Got this breaking. Uh, half a foot ish from the left. It's lined up a little too far to the edge of the hole. All right, that's a bit better. Just like that. Just like that. So I probably actually started that just outside left edge and it well, may, maybe right on the hole and it actually done okay. So there you go, sick, sick putter, stability shaft, can't miss. Tighten the line, can't miss. Um, 
I'll show you around. So very quite a very quite a small green. It's not an overly long hole. So you know, there's that's where we are there. That's where we've come back from. So that's the left hand side of the fairway as you play the big ridge just uh, on the left hand side there. So I come up over the middle of that down the bottom of the hill. Um, I can't wait to see the next couple of holes. Rightio, well, I'm looking at this hole <coughs> for the first time, just like you guys. So I haven't even looked at the card. I know it's a shortish one. I know it's like 318 meters or so. I definitely am not hitting driver. Uh, 318 from the hoop pines. It looks like there's quite a bit of room to the left. Uh, 210 meters to leave 90 odd in. Uh, to catch the down slope, 210 from from here. Uh, it looks like, well, you can't miss it right, basically. There's a couple of trees in the way distance, which, oh, there you go, pendanus trees. So in the way distance on the left-hand side is basically my aiming line. Uh, yep, something along those lines. From this elevated tee, probably could hit this thing, my three iron, somewhere in the realm of 220, maybe. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm a bit worried about this grass in front of me. <laughs> so you can hit it a little down the left. Wow, that next tee looks way up in the hill. Alrighty. Down the left. Oop. Oh, that's just left of the pendanus trees. So from here, the hill, we might be able to zoom in and see it. From the hill here. So there's the pendanus trees that, oops, sorry, it's all a bit jittery, uh, is there. That's basically where my aligning was, or where I felt like I was hitting, and it landed up over those trees, so that broken-y tree there. So, that should be pretty good. You can just see, um, see I'm back in the hill here. This is the rest of the tee block, but that's the next tee up there. I believe it's a par three, one of the signature holes. Have a look at that. Way up the hill. Two over there or something. There it is. Wow. Right, I haven't set everything up just yet. Oh, people are teeing off behind me. They can't see me behind the rock, so that's okay. Um, I've got, I'm not too sure the distance just yet, but hopefully I can get all this stuff started. Um, don't hit it too far left either, just quietly. Uh, at about the distance I'm at, the, there is a bit of gunge. So those pandanus uh, trees down there are literally where we need to be hitting them. You've actually got quite a lot more room to the right than I, uh, than I expected. So what do we got here? Maybe a hundred-ish. Got 54. So yeah, just to the left of the camera, there's just gunge. Back up the hill, back up into the wind. 103, 103. Come through, guys, if you want. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I'm in on filming, so it's going to take a little longer than than usual. So 103 meters back uphill, back up into the wind just a little bit. Wind out of the right. Not really a hard gap wedge, I think. It's a relatively easy one. Turning with the breeze a little bit more than I wanted it to. It's on, maybe just past pin high, but uh, moving with the wind, I sort of dragged it a little bit, but that will do. Look at that. Bloody lovely. Right, that's the view you get up here on three. Um, there's my putt. The wind is starting to blow a little bit, but look at it, it's just pretty special. Volcanic islands, there you go, volcanic. Um, I've got a long putt back uphill, back up into the wind. Just met a lovely couple, Simon and Carla. Thank you for saying hi. 
enjoy the rest of your holiday for sure um, this breaks in many different directions I think if anybody wants to know I'm, this is the second round I'm using them um, the new Srixen Z Star XVs interesting definitely definitely softer than the previous versions have been but I reckon the wind's gonna start I'm supposed to be 50k an hour today so um, that's gonna be very interesting uh, fairways are quite soft so that, that one there I thought I hit a little too far left I mean if it was quick potentially I could have gone into the into the scrub I sort of have a feeling this putt because of this hill there's a hill up here uh, hopefully you can see it on the on, on the left of the screen or the left of the green I just sort of have a feeling that that's gonna make it break I don't know if it is though um, I've sort of got this lined up just left of the hole but it does look like it's the cup set going to break the other way doesn't matter what happens to this putt because that view is absolutely awesome yeah because this feels like balls was starting to get below my feet just here so Well, I certainly didn't trust any of that. That is exactly what I thought would happen, but I look at the cup and it's sort of sitting a little sideways. So, I was wrong. I'll, uh, I'll show you this hole in a second when I've, when I've finished and uh, out towards those islands as well. sucks birdie bogey that's my typical golf career absolutely typical but um that's very nice again this whole golf course especially around the back nine by the sounds of it that sucks square through three but i'll, I'll certainly take it that's um yeah it's a pretty nice view out there imagine that oh hey richo you're coming and then that's the hole. So basically my tees were straight up the hill back there. Oop, where is it? That looks like that could be the red tees. But yeah, it's up the hills, I think, in that clearing. Shooting straight down there, I always sort of ended up just over here. But yeah, it's quite wide, especially down the left. Just don't hit it too far left. Guys, seriously, come up here. Enjoy the view. Enjoy the golf. Uh, staff are brilliant. Come and see Michael, Izzy. Everybody up here in the, is he in the bar, Michael, golf ops manager. But yeah, this is what it's all about. Very good golf course with brilliant views. Beautiful. And don't forget, smash that like button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that's what weird, you say, eh? don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. I don't know. If you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit this like. Who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you.